hi students welcome back to our youtube channel so in our last video we started the topic carbohydrates and in that topic we discussed some basic information regarding carbohydrate in which we discussed some key terms and definitions and some functions along with the classifications of carbohydrates okay so last time we did like the uh, like classifications based on the number of sugar units so these are like uh, monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides and like uh, the last one that we did here like uh, some information and regarding the like aldoses and ketoses for the monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides okay so now like uh, in the last video we discussed like in the next one we are going to start the monosaccharides in terms of structural aspects and then we will discuss some stereoisomerism in this topic like d and l isomerisms and optical activity so let's start our topic so now we are going to start the monosaccharides in terms of structural aspects okay so now monosaccharides in terms of structural aspects when we discuss like any compound on the basis of structure so that discussion is under in stereo isomerism okay so now the question is what is meant by stereo isomerism so stereo isomerism is an important characteristics of monosaccharide or you have to say that is an important character of monosaccharides okay how because you know that the stereo isomers are the compounds stereo isomers are the compounds like having the same structural formula same structural formula but like what's the difference but differ in the spatial configurations special configurations okay like as you know in the stereo isomerism we discuss like symmetric carbon and asymmetric carbon that is very important like asymmetric carbon okay remember asymmetric carbon like is said to be a carbon when it is attached with four different atoms or groups for example here is a carbon that is attached with four different carbons or four uh, sorry four different groups or four different atoms like for example here you can see carbon the central one that is bonded with a b e and d so that carbon is known as asymmetric carbon okay so the number of asymmetric carbon atoms determines the possible isomers of the given compound which is equal to 2n okay 2 power n like how because you know that glucose contain four asymmetric carbon and thus has 16 isomers we will discuss in details because you know normally glucose contain six carbon like 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the glucose normally having the four asymmetric carbon okay and four asymmetric carbons mean four 
फोर एसमेट्रिक कार्बन मीन लाइक दे कैन मेक आर दे हैविंग सिक्सटीन आइसोमर्स हाउ बिकॉज फोर मीन टू टू पावर फोर ओके दैट गिवस सिक्सटीन all right so we will discuss in detail now like in uh, like the discussion of carbohydrate a very important reference carbohydrate is glyceraldehyde okay so glyceraldehyde is the carbohydrate that is used as a reference carbohydrate रेफरेंस कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स हाउ बिकॉज ग्लेसरल डी हाइट नॉर्मली कंटेन थ्री कार्बन सो दैट इज नाउन एज ट्रायोजिस ओके सो इज द सिंपलेस्ट मोनोसेक्राइड सो दैट्स वाई दैट इज यूज एज अ रेफरेंस कार्बोहाइड्रेट okay triosis like the glyceraldehyde is the simplest monosaccharide and like that contain three carbon in which one asymmetric carbon atom is present so that contain one asymmetric carbon atom okay like when it contain 1 so it means 2 to power 1 that gives 2 so that uh, like exist as two stereoisomerism like the two stereoisomers and uh, like has been as the reference carbohydrate to represent the structure of all other carbohydrates okay so now like before going to discuss those structures i am going to tell you like the difference between d isomers and l isomers like for example in case of glyceraldehyde as you know glyceraldehyde contain like aldehyde group so here that contain three carbons so now here you can see three carbons and along with that now one carbon is asymmetric so here i am going to write oh okay so same structure i am going to make but that is the mirror image of that compound okay but in this case now you can see the position of oh group is on the left side and here the position of the oh group is on the right side and if the position of oh group is on the right side then that isomer is known as d isomer okay so that is like uh, that compound name will be d glyceraldehyde okay and if the position of if the position of oh group is present on the left side so that condition is known as l isomer are here in this condition that is known as l glyceraldehyde okay so now now the question is like as i already told you what is meant by d and l isomer so actually you have to remember that d and l isomers are the mirror images okay mirror images of each other and remember that the special orient orientation of hydrogen and hydroxyl group 
on the carbon atom here you can see that is adjacent to that like uh, on the carbon atom determines like whether that is d isomer or l isomer okay like remember that if the oh group is present on the right side then that will be known as d series okay and if the oh group is present on the left side so that condition belongs to l series okay for example like uh, i am going to make in case of glucose as you know that the glucose contain six carbon atoms so i am going to make 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here six okay and as you know glucose that is contain aldehyde group so that start from aldehyde group and here is ch2oh okay and now like the next one adjacent to the term terminal primary alcoholic carbon determines so that where is the condition i am going to make okay let me change the color of oh okay now here the next one i am going to make okay now here we have okay i am going to change this color to okay so here you can see there are the two terminal position like one there is like aldehyde group and the other side there is an alcoholic group so actually remember that the uh, like the special arrangement in the d and l isomers belongs to or the group on the carbon atom 5 okay so if you count down like here 1 2 3 4 5 so there is the fifth carbon atom and if you start from here so then there will be this one five carbon atom okay but that is adjacent to terminal primary alcohol carbon determines okay so there is the terminal primary alcohol so it means that group will determine the d and l isomers so i am going to change back okay so now in this condition i am going to make the same structure here okay now in this structure like the oh group the these are the mirror images to each other so now we are going to replace like here here is the oh group and now there will be oh group hydrogen oh group and now you can see here okay now in this condition so that group like here the green color oh that is present on the right side so it means due to that group that is known as d series so you can say that is d glucose and here the oh group is present on the left side so you can say that is l glucose okay so it may be noted that the naturally occurring monosaccharides like in the mammalian tissues are mostly d configuration okay so d configuration is commonly present in the mammalian tissues and the enzyme machinery of the cell is specific to the metabolize so d series of monosaccharides okay so d series is very important in aspects of 
like enzymatic activities and in aspects of the tissues okay like the mammalian tissues okay okay so the next one we are going to discuss the optical activity of sugar optical activity of sugar remember optical activity is the characteristic feature of the compound with asymmetric carbon so optical activity is the characteristic feature of the asymmetric carbon asymmetric carbon okay like uh, how the optical activity defines uh, like dextrorotatory and levorotatory so remember uh, like when a beam of polarized light will pass or is passed through a solution of that contain like optical isomers like uh, when a beam of light is passed through a solution that uh, like of an optical isomer so it will rotate either towards the right side or towards the left side okay so it means like when the beam of polarized light passes or is passed through a solution of an optical isomer then it will be rotated either towards the right side or towards the left side so that will define whether the compound is dextrorotatory or levorotatory okay so remember dextrorotatory is the condition as i already discussed d type so same here in the d mean dextrorotatory so that is the condition in which the polarized light rotate towards the right side so here you have to remember that right that will be dextrorotatory okay and dextrorotatory is represented by d positive while if the plane polarized right rotate towards the left side then that condition is known as levorotatory and that is represented by like l negative okay so remember uh, like based on the structural relation with the glacier aldehyde an optical isomers may be designated as d positive d negative l positive and l negative okay so the next one another very key key terms in terms of like learning process for the carbohydrate structure so that is racemic mixture okay racemic mixture uh, like if d and l isomers present in the equal amount are in equal concentration so then it is known as racemic mixture of dl mixture like for example i said here if like d isomer and l isomer that is present with equal concentration okay so then the racemic mixture is known as dl mixture and very important point for the racemic mixture that it does not show any optical activity it does not show any optical activity why because you know that 
like one rotate towards the right side one rotate towards the left side so it means since the dextral rotatory and levo rotatory activities cancel each other so these are like the cancel each other that's why it does not show any optical activity okay and remember in medical practice the terms dextrose is used for the glucose in solution okay and this is because the glucose is present in the dextro rotatory in nature okay so dextro rotatory in nature so that is what about the racemic mixture okay now we are going to discuss the next one that is the configuration of dl doses configuration of dl doses okay like uh, as i already discussed the reference compound or reference carbohydrate that is used that is known as glyceraldehyde so we are going to take the glyceraldehyde here like that is d glyceraldehyde okay so d glyceraldehyde we are going to take uh, like in the configuration of dl doses so is depicted and this is representation of like that is known as kilani fisher synthesis okay like how it means we are going to take the three carbons and from the three carbons like the chain length increasing of an aldose by one carbon atom at at uh, like at one time okay for example here three carbon then four carbon then five carbon then six carbon okay so then the name will be like for the three carbon that is known as aldotriosis four carbon aldotetrosis five carbon aldopentosis six carbon aldohexosis and like uh, so on okay so that is for example i am going to write for the aldotriosis three carbon the three carbon will be uh, like uh, d aldotriosis we are going to take so that is here you can see that is d glyceraldehyde because the oh group is present on the right side so now from the d glyceraldehyde we are going to increase the carbon chain length like at one carbon increases at one time so now the next one three carbon here and now the next one is four carbon in the four carbon you can see the four carbon will again show the two structures d isomers and l so now here i am going to make two three and four so here it will be oh group hydrogen oh group hydrogen and the last one that contain primary alcohol okay and the same happening on the right side and in this case here is again oh group but now the 
OH group is present on the left side. Okay, here the OH group is present on the right side and here is on the left side. Okay, so that is again divided into further categories. Okay, so that will be proceed up to aldohexosis. So these are all for the configurations of D aldosis. Okay, and same happening for the configuration of D ketosis. like D-ketose configuration in the D-ketose configuration again you have to start from uh, like a starting material that is triose okay and that is known as uh, like a th there are five keto sugars which are physio physiologically important so now I am going to show in the like uh, ketose D ketose so the first one the three carbon like that is ketone so you know ketone is R C O R so it means here it will be carbonyl group and along with the carbonyl group there is CH2OH and the third one also contains CH2OH okay so that is known as dehydroxyacetone okay the three carbon while the four carbon in the four carbon here is again there will be four hydrogens sorry four carbons along with the four carbons the second one that contain carbonyl group and now we are going to place the hydroxyl group and hydrogen so the first one CH2OH and then the next one that would be here is H and on the left side there is OH and here is like we are going to increase like then first sorry here it will be after four carbon uh, like after three carbon so here it will be five carbon it means we are going to increase two more carbons here like these are and the next one what is the name of this compound this carbohydrate so that is known as d xylose okay and then the next one again d ribulose d fructose and then the last one okay so it means these are some configurations regarding the ketone configurations Okay students, so the next one we are going to discuss that is epimers. Okay, epimers means if two monosaccharides, two monosaccharides differ with each other like if two monosaccharides differ with each other in their configurations around a single specific carbon like around a single specific carbon okay like for example uh, like we are going to discuss uh, like the glucose structure and galactose structure glucose and galactose okay so first of all I am going to draw the glucose structures like contain six carbons okay so along with that there is CHO here is CH2OH 
and now the next one here is OH hydrogen and then hydrogen OH OH hydrogen hydrogen okay so that is the structure of glucose and in case of galactose so I am going to make okay uh, instead of making I am going to copy that just wait a second okay so here let me make it copy okay you can see now okay in this structure like the galactose and glucose structure is only differ at carbon number 4 like here you can see 1 2 3 4 so in this case now the galactose that contain OH group on the left side okay while here the OH group is present on the right side so you can see here the glucose and galactose structure both has like uh, you can say that are same it's same to each other but there is only differ in one carbon atom so it means these are the epimers to each other so these are epimers okay so in this case how will you define like glucose and galactose are epimers with regards to carbon number 4 okay that is the differ in the arrangement of OH group at C4 position okay so same happening in case of glucose and like uh, the next one uh, we are going to take another one the mannose okay let me take it again a new copy and in this case here is mannose structure and you can see like in case of mannose wait a second okay so here let me copy it again okay so you can see in this position like that is I am going to making it menu structure okay in this case now at carbon number 2 the OH group will differ so now here I am going to change OH group and hydrogen okay so that is the structure of mannose so at this position when you look at so all the structure of glucose and mannose that are same to each other but there is different only at carbon 2 position so again these are the epimers okay so the interconversion of epimers like for example glucose here glucose to galactose and galactose to glucose that is process is known as epimerization okay that process is known as epimerization okay and uh, like the group of enzyme namely epimerase 
that catalyze this reaction. Okay. Now, today the last topic of our video that is in enantiomers. Enantio mers okay as we already discussed d and l isomers in uh, like the above so we discussed like the d and l isomers are mirror images to each other mirror images to each other okay so same happening here the enantio mers are the special type of stereo isomers that are mirror image to each other so the two members are designated as D and L series or you can say D and L sugar. So in enantiomers, I am going to show you here in the structure like L glucose and D glucose. For example, here is Six carbon that contain aldehyde here is the structure of L glucose like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5th and the last one is 6th okay so here that contain OH group so that is the structure of L glucose. Okay, because OH group is present on the left side. Now, in case of D isomers, so D will be here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, and now here OH group on the right side so these are the exact mirror image to each other so you can see here in that L glucose one carbon uh, like one hydrogen is present on the left side in the next one the same on the same atom the carbon is present on the right side okay so now you can see these two images So these two are the mirror images. So it means these are known as enantiomers. Okay. So majority of the sugars are higher animals, including mains, are a D type isomers. Okay. And uh, like the one term that is associated with the enantiomer that is known as like the term diastereomers is used to represent the stereo isomers that are not mirror images to each other. Okay. So you just need to remember that diastereomers are opposite to enantiomers. Okay, it means these are not mirror images to each other.
ओके सो इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लूकोज अलोंग विद द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लूकोज वी विल डिस्कस लाइक एनोमर्स पायरनोज एंड फ्यूरनो स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके एंड देन वी विल प्रोसीड द टॉपिक रिएक्शंस ऑफ मोनो आइसोमर रिएक्शंस ऑफ मोनोसेक्राइड्स ओके सो इफ यू लाइक अवर वीडियो देन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब अस एंड स्टेट योन टेक केयर विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड बाय